afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to day one of theCUBE's live coverage of Falcon 2024 here in Las Vegas at the Aria. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, sitting alongside my co-host, co-analyst, co-founder of theCUBE, Dave Vellante. We've got two great CUBE veterans for our next segment. We've got Daniel Bernard, he is the Chief Business Officer at CrowdStrike. Thank you so much for returning to, to theCUBE. And Puneet Munocha, EVP, Business Development and Corporate Strategy at Zscaler. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I want to start by talking about your partnership, which is, it's a long-term partnership, a story partnership, shall we say. Tell us a little bit more about how you work together. Sure. Well, we've done a lot of work with Zscaler over the years, both from a technology perspective, so that customers could really fully embrace zero trust. We secure the device, the cloud, et cetera. Zscaler makes sure that connectivity and authenticity is there. Um, so I think in order to really bring a zero trust strategy to life, we want our customers using Zscaler to do that here at the platform. Um, this partnership wasn't just about the technology, it also extended to the people and how we've gone to market together, which we both will talk about. The, we have over a thousand customers using the integrations between our products. A lot of large enterprise wins. It's truly global. Our teams love working together. So happy customers, happy teams, happy companies. That's right, that's right, absolutely, DB. I'll tell you, this all started about four, four and a half years ago. We had a, a customer in the real estate business, Cushman and Wakefield, and they were using CrowdStrike. They were using Zscaler. Quite disparate environments, and the CISO, who, pure coincidence, I just ran into an hour ago, uh, comes to us and says, listen, they have some telemetry, can, I, can you ingest that into Zscaler? And at the same time, there's things that Zscaler is finding, can you signal that to CrowdStrike? And that was it the- It was a customer it that was a customer. your partnership. It was a customer That's that gave us that feedback. We sat down with the product teams and started whiteboarding and the rest was history, and I ran into him, and I explained that we have over a thousand customers now using that integration. He was ecstatic, and uh, I can tell you, we have stories after stories where customers actually want to come on stage because they realize what we bring is the best of both worlds, right? Both companies are very confident in what we do. Uh, they're the market leaders on the endpoint and expanding out. We're in the market leaders on the network, we're expanding out, but we're confident in what we do and we want to partner with the best, right? So get to a point where customers do not have to make compromises, right? And that's sort of where this all, that's the foundation, if you will. Yeah, and it makes it easier that you're a pure play, you know, sassy play and not a conglomerate, but still, I know the mindset of most technology companies and when you get together like that, it's like, okay, who owns it? You know, who's going to, but so you had to work through that right. initially. Obviously now it helps that you've got different swim lanes, but sure. I wonder if you could sort of describe how you sorted that all out and how it's progressed. I think we want to give customers the choice. Um, we hear loud and clear from hardware vendors that try and sell SASE, um, that, they, that we hear from the customers that they want to choose best of breed. And we've certainly demonstrated that with the numbers. Like if you look at the large enterprise traction that both companies have, the way that we go to market, we bring Zscaler in. The way Zscaler goes to market, they bring us in. Our CEOs talk at events together. You know, it was interesting. I think there was an event in Miami that That's George right. spoke at with Jay uh, about a year ago. And you know, there was it, it was it was a customer event, and Jay asked, "How many of you in the room are CrowdStrike customers?" And 80% of the room raised their hands. So we just have a really good cohorting in the market yeah. around. And, and, I, and I think it's also similar cultures in the companies. We really are obsessive about the customer, quick movers and innovation wanting to stay ahead of the curve, um, taking the customer relationship really seriously, and executing very well in the market. I, I couldn't say it any better. If you put the customer first, and you have the conviction that what you're building is best of breed, the rest will all take care of itself. And as, as I think that mindset has really helped us. Not having the customer make the, make the trade off, not trying to you know, push them into you know, licensing deals where they perhaps procure a product but are not able to deploy it. I mean, how is it making the customer satisfied? One right. other fun thing to add is the validation we get from the ecosystem around right. what we do together. So, we work together with the same resellers, the same partners. You go to Worldwide Technologies, you go to CDW, you go to SHI, you go to Optiv, and the list goes on in Europe and in Asia, we land campaigns together, it's called Z-Stripe. So right. I have all these other vendors, there's 98 of them here on the floor, 
they pop up and they're like, how do I get a Z stripe? That's right. So, and you hear the same. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. And it's not just go to market, there's obviously integrations that you guys do, you have news. Mm -hmm. uh, this That's week, right. you want to talk about that and share sure. with the audience? <laughs> Absolutely. So we announced a whole bunch of new integrations. Some are perhaps solidifying the past integrations that we had. You know, simple examples that I can think of. They're on the endpoint. They have a really good idea of the risk that might be associated with you, Rebecca, uh, when you're going out to the internet. And wouldn't it be useful if before you went out to the internet, Zscaler, when you're going out, looked at your risk or consumed your risk. If you had a higher risk, maybe hold off on doing so, right? So those are the types of integrations our customers use. We had implemented those about three, four years ago, but we realized it was a one-to-one -one integration between Zscaler and CrowdStrike. They have really released a new uh, initiative called Foundry, which is a more open platform upon which multiple partners can build. We have released a context engine. Again, similar approach where we are allowing multiple partners to build on that. That allows for a more resilient, fault tolerant approach. And you know, listen, things happen in security, things happen in IT. It is our job as vendors to make sure that we are adapting and learning and build something that is you know, fail safe, so to speak. So that was one of the things that we did where we hardened the integrations that we had built in the, in the past. And then in addition to that, there's things that we are starting to do. They are a gold mine of user data at the endpoint. And today, one of the things that uh, is a board level discussion is cyber. Cyber security, a board is always asking what is, what is the risk associated with uh, cyber right now? And to the point where the SEC is actually mandating that once a year the 10K has to include a cyber risk. And so we released a product around Risk 360 that is ingesting some of the telemetry from CrowdStrike. Similarly, I think, why don't you talk a sure. little about Next Gen Sim so and the Next, work we're doing there? Totally, Next Gen Sim's a big part of our growth strategy, taking every single customer console and really turning it into a Sim. And so being able to ingest all the user logs from uh, Zscaler, huge value add, and also some of this risk information as well so that as you contextualize what's going on with a threat, is it an alert, is it a threat, what do I action? Bringing in, and in most of our demos, we showcase right. how Zscaler brings the network perspective into the SIM experience to create what we call next-gen SIM. And I think just to add the whole, the vision, last year we were here talking and we released Foundry last year, yep. which is really our app developer factory, is what I'd like to call it. And so to see partners like Zscaler embracing that, using, you can use any of the functions of the platform and create your own custom app. So they use some of their core capabilities, used our capabilities and created a solution on our platform that really articulates and illustrates the value of this, the crowd and the platform and how CrowdStrike is really a unifier to bring crowd, cybersecurity together. So it's data, right, that feeds you know, visuals and right. you know, mm -hmm. the visuals and the dashboards, automation and then of course you got AI that you're moving throughout, so that's the platform piece that you're then putting out there that exactly. people can, can leverage. And the fact that this is all bi-directional stuff, exactly. like these have all been baked, thought through, you know. That's important. That's very important, oh, yeah. and, and also battle tested. The that's fact right. that, you know, when you have the kind of adoption that we both have of these, of the integrations, we have a lot, we have more customers that use both of our products, but the fact that over a thousand have actually integrated and clicked the buttons to integrate it and turn it on, you know, this stuff works, yeah. and it works at scale. So, bi-directional, the reason I, I, you, you caught my attention is because so much of this is read-only, one way, asynchronous, too slow. So, when you say bi-directional, you're talking about, can you explain? I'm talking about how we're sending data yeah. to Zscaler and they're sending data to CrowdStrike, yep. and there's real connective tissue versus like bubble gum and rubber bands yeah. for a press release. Like, Four years into this partnership together, robust enterprise grade solutions, things happening in the Zscaler console, things happening in the CrowdStrike console, that's why our customers see the value in Best of Breed. It's all real time, so CrowdStrike, market leader in threat intel. We have the ability to, for customers who subscribe to the threat intel, have the ability to take that threat intel and immediately populate it in, and enforce it. It's a business policy 
that based on the threat intel, the user no longer has access to certain applications, right? So that's all happening real time. This is not something where, you know, because there's enough trust built in, we have confidence that what is coming totally. is of high telemetry with, and high value. With deep integrations, because I'll just share with the audience, a lot of, the, a lot of times, you mentioned just bubblegum band-aids in a press release, a lot of times these automations are fragile scripts. Right. And they just break. That's Something right. changes, That's and right. oh, hey, we got to go back and it's this manual effort. That's right. It doesn't work, especially at today's speeds. That's totally, right. totally. And if you look like in the market, we sell to the same folks, it makes sense. We compete with the same folks. There's a lot of reasons that That's we right. all work together and that we win together. And, and again, it's, it starts with the technology, but it goes to the shared DNA and the culture, and you really can't buy that. You have to just build that and, and, it, and have it come I to mean, be. Just, you guys can bring that. Right. And, the, and the ecosystem, would you say 98? Yeah, so 97 gonna here exhibiting. You're going to outgrow the Aria <laughs> soon. Yeah, <laughs> totally, to I know, I know. Every year, I think last year it was like, a smaller number, so every year it grows. It's a record year, attendees, partners, exhibitors. I mean, this is the ecosystem, this is the crowd. So let's talk about this ecosystem here. I mean, you're, you're already talking about how your customers are giving you business ideas, giving you feedback to, to, to get into new, new kinds of partnerships. Paint a broad brush picture of why partnerships are so critical sure. in cybersecurity. We're solving really complex problems, and there's about 4,000 different vendors in cybersecurity, which is a lot. Very few of them ever reach the milestone of 100 million in ARR and are really ready for the enterprise. But if you think about how do you stop a threat, first you've got to be able to see it, and then you need to be able to take an action. And ideally, have that action be automated or AI powered or something so that you don't need a lot of humans. No single vendor in security does everything. And so having an open ecosystem approach where you can bring together best of breed is really the right strategy, number one. But number two, how matters. Yes. What I mean by that is like, then we get back into bubble gum and, 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 and rubber bands. You really need things that are battle tested, that work together, that work bi-directionally, and that solve different problems. Zscaler solves different problems than CrowdStrike solves. So that, that's really, the, the third part of it is, what are other parts of the technology solution space that come together to make these things even stickier? So I think a good example for both of us is, AWS Marketplace, yep. where we work with customers together, we help them optimize their budgets, we help them on their tr cloud transformation. We're cloud native, they're cloud native. <laughs> customers really love buying our technology through resellers on AWS Marketplace, and then it's a win-win for everybody. So exactly right. these things kind of all come in virtuous cycles. Yep, I, 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 the only perhaps things I might add is, security does tend to be very fragmented, and it make, when, you, when it's as fragmented as it can be, it adds complexity. When it adds complexity, it, it, you know, there's room for error, there's risk. stuff that happens, risk gets introduced. And so there is generally a trend towards trying to consolidate that. I 100% agree, but at the same time, there's certain swim lanes that are very natural, and that's sort of where you know, Zscaler and CrowdStrike have landed, mm -hmm. that allow ourselves to have that open ecosystem mindset, partner with the best, and, and go solve customers' problems. So I'm glad you said trying to consolidate, because it's hard. Yeah. yeah. So square the circle for me, because you got the startup accelerator. Yeah. You guys are both consolidators. Yeah. Right? yeah. You got platforms. You got Absolutely. Solid. And yet you're funding all these, <laughs> these, these startups because, because there's problems to be solved. There's always problems right? to be solved. And that is part of the challenge. No. The, the innovation is so fast and furious that it's, it's really challenging for customers to reduce their number of and, vendors in their stack. Look, we both have to earn the consolidation that we deliver. Yes. We can say we're consolidators, and we are consolidators, but we're consolidators because customers, they talk with their wallets. Yeah. So there's room for everybody in this market. There's room for innovation. We want new innovators, dreamers, to get excited and passionate and form new companies, and that's wonderful because they create new spaces and Maybe we're already there, maybe we're not there, that, that all doesn't matter. It's more products for us to integrate into, it's more problems for us to solve, and more things we can work on together. Both sides have the awareness that we don't know it all, and we got to keep learning, that growth mindset, if you will. That allows us to continue to make investments in startups and in others, to learn and see what the entire creative industry is doing around us, because some of that might give us ideas that we might use together. Mm. Funding the next generation of cybersecurity innovation, really. Yep. Excellent. Exactly. Well, Bernard, thank you so much. Uh, Puneet, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure having you on.
A pleasure. Thanks, guys. Great to be here. Thank you. I'm Rebecca Knight for Dave Vellante. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's live coverage. George Kurtz, oh. up next. Yes, George, George Kurtz. Is coming. Oh my gosh, yes, thank Stay you. Stay tuned. The thank man, the myth, that. the legend. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Stay tuned for George Kurtz coming up very soon. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in enterprise tech news and analysis.